Hey guys, what's going on? Turbo Creep today. We're going to be playing some more Farming Simulator 2019 on the Sandy Bay map. And we're going to jump in the telehandler. We're basically going to bring everything home today. And then we might buy a planter. Or we might hay. I'm not for sure yet what exactly we're going to do. You guys will probably know by the thumbnail. But, um... Yeah, this is a pretty big bucket on here. And we're going to take this home. We'll take the dry spreader and we're going to fill it up with fertilizer just for now just to get rid of these pallets in the yard and we'll probably put it in that shed back there or we might back it in this one I think I'll back it in this other one but we might run some fertilizer today we'll see actually I think we are going to do fertilizer we'll just park it there Unhook the bucket. Unhook it somewhere like right there. Right here and then we'll get the pallet forks. And all that stuff. So we'll jump in the pickup. There we go. Fire it up. Drive it in. And this is empty so that's good. We do have the pallet forks in the back of a container. Swing in, we will hook onto them, get them out of there. There we go. And we will undo these straps and spear these two machine thing bobs and we'll also poke a hole in our pickup so I'll just push them off it's easier and we can spear this one up just to get the collisions all over all weird on this stuff there we go bring it in and we'll put this back in this shed over here so we can get away from this stuff Yeah, we're just running into stuff today. Like we do every day. We'll back it in here and we'll get it square away. Run like that. Pull forward. We'll go put the pickup away in this shed over here. Let's park it in here for now. Run back, get the telehandler. We're gonna load up the fertilizer into this spreader so we're gonna have a fertilizer spreader and then we're gonna have the lime spreader be the two same it'll be the same thing and this spreader is really balanced to where you load it and stuff and it's like balanced like you tap it a little bit and it's just perfect so that's something neat that over. There we go. Just get that up top and knock it over some more. Okay, so we'll dump this in and we'll put the pallet fork on that seed pallet and put it probably with that seed pallets over there. Those seed pallets unhook it right here there we go good enough and then we will park it right here might as well just right there jump into the 7210 with the chisel on it we still we forgot to bring this home the last video so that's why it's still in the field might have to bring the other one first and drag it with us come on there it goes. So we will take this back to the house real quick. We might get it a 7120 soon, I don't know. Or an older older tractor. I'm not sure yet. We might. I'd like to.
And then, yeah, we do have to finish spreading lime in this field. I think we might leave it, or we might do it off camera some other time. Because, actually we might do it this video, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, these tractors pull these hills, like, really tough. It takes a while to run these hills. I don't know why it is. It just does. Alright, so we got it in the yard. I don't think we have a power washer yet, do we? They are under decorations. No, they are miscellaneous. Do we have one? Not yet. I think I can kind of put it right there. Oh, I can wash stuff off when we pull in right away. And it is getting a little dark out, so we might speed up time here. Rinse the trasher, quick rinse. We'll make sure and get this cleaned. And we might as well clean the telehandler. We got it all cleaned up. This is pretty well clean. And we will park this along in the shed. Shouldn't need to pull it out for another year. We might have a different one next year. We'll see. There we go. I think it goes like this. It's kind of square. And hook it. And we're going to hook on to the... I don't know. I don't think we'll hook on the mowers yet. I was. But we're not going to do it quite yet. Jump in the 4640. And we're going to take this all the way home. I might, I don't know. I think I might take it to the shop and get another few pallets off camera maybe. So what I'll do right now is we'll just take it home, put the spreader away, and we'll start spreading fertilizer maybe. Actually I think we'll start planting. We're gonna buy a new corn planter. That's what we're going to do, if we can afford it. Well, we should be able to sell the other one. We'll drive it down there. We'll drive our other one down there so we can get like 10% more out of the one we have now. Even though we're not really going to get much more, but it'll still be better because we still have to go down there with something to pick it up. So That's if this one can carry it. I don't know if it can or not. So yeah, this will be our lime spreader. That one will be our fertilizer spreader. And we'll back it in. These sheds are pretty big, so that's what I'm, one thing I like. I guess they're technically grain storages. And we have to pull the mower out. I think we'll pull the mower out this case. And, or wait, we have that seed attacher. Two to bring down. Yeah, we might as well just bring it home with the case. Where this goes, we'll swing around this way. This is how I high back it up in real life. There we go. Run hook it there. Back up, hook onto the eight row planter, and we're going to trade it for an older eight row. It is kind of heavy on here, but it ain't bad. Put that on, and actually, we probably could keep the seed out of these. So I think we can, yep, we can unload them. That's good. So we will just unload them out here. Unload that one there. Unload seed there. And that's one nice thing. You can keep your seed and fertilizer. Except for on that new dry spreader mod, which I'll probably go in and fix that. I just haven't had time yet. Alright, we're rolling up to the shop here. We went ahead and took it to the shop. We'll drop the front thing off. And there is a lot of stuff appears when we drop that thing off, so that's crazy. So we'll do that. Dump it. Go ahead and sell it for 7000 I think we bought it for... What did we buy it for? Eight. So that ain't bad. We bought this for 30 Let's see what we can get out of it. Back it up. Drop it off. I do like three-point planters for especially maps like this a lot better the one we're getting will be a pull type but it's a cool old old John Deere one 
I don't know why it picked up the tractor. Like, it's not even in the trigger. So why would it do that? I hate when it does that. So we lost 4,000 off of that, which ain't terrible. And then the new one, we got planters, and we got a four row, we have a six row, and we have an eight row. So three meters, six meters, 4.4. 4. Plants the same thing we just had planted. We'll probably just plant beans with it this year and corn. And then, yeah, you have your little hoppers. You guys can see it here. And I think we have enough seed and fertilizer. I don't think it holds that much. 2,000, yeah, it holds a pallet of seed and a pallet of fertilizer. So I don't think we'll buy any. And, yes, it looks like it comes full, but it doesn't. That's just the way the modders modded it to look like that. But I do have a thing where I can rework. So if you guys really do want to see like the seed in the boxes when you fill it. And the fertilizer in the boxes. I can do that. I'm going to try that. And then the covers go down like that. And yeah it just works like that. Well rolling up to the house. I did get that one bag of fertilizer. At the shop. So we shouldn't need fertilizer. But we are going to use this. Ooh, we should have got some seed though. I didn't know it that low. Oh, there is a new pallet over there. I forgot about that one. I thought we had a full pallet somewhere. We'll back up here. Should be able to. Oh, no, that's heavier than I thought. I thought it was a little lighter. But yeah, these planters aren't released yet. Um, unless you guys like want them, then I might. I don't know for sure, but we're going to unhook it. And we're going to put it on a John Deere tractor just to make it look better. I know you guys like John Deere stuff and K stuff and New Holland. I might get a New Holland in here. We are going to get probably a Gleaner Combine soon. I don't know what brand yet. Probably the good old N7. Well, we will. Let's see. So we just did corn. We're going to do beans in this field that we're going to. And then the other field, we have to do some stuff to it. And I'll probably do that Sunday. Um, so the next video will probably be haying. And that's probably what it'll be. Because this weekend we're going on a trip. A little trip. So we're going to pull in here. And we're going to plant our soybeans. And then maybe next year we'll drill some wheat. If we buy a third field or something. So we're going to lower it. Turn it on. Now the, the markers fold down. This mark, this side marker doesn't work. However, this side marker does. I don't know exactly why that is, but they do work. Only the one side, though. And for some reason, they spin no matter what. I just noticed that today. So, we're going to plant some soybeans. And then, yeah, I'll probably roll into the time lapse quick here. And we'll do the whole field. So, anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video hit that like button and we will see you let's see yeah it is a no-till too so anyway we will see you all next time about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it Somehow we can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Now looking back, I 
Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde A classic cliche, we're on the run This is what we waited for